Hello everyone, in today's video we will find out how to identify a liar right away. Wouldn't it be awesome to be able to catch a liar right away? We'll focus closely on today's video and you won't need to be worried about someone lying to you ever again. It's like you're a superhero that exposes liars. Before we get to it, I'd like to welcome you to our channel, The Greatness In You. We will give you only the best tips and information that will be sure to make your life better. Subscribe for more great videos like this one. So let's start. Number one, one question, three ways. If you need to know whenever someone is lying, simply pose a similar question in three different ways. This method is intended to reveal patterns in the manner people lie. More often than not, when someone makes something up, they have their lie properly organized. They understand what words they're going to say. They realize what topics they're going to make reference to. So when you pose the question once, they'll have a very much organized answer waiting and prepared. However, what happens when you pose it again in an alternate way? If they're honest, they may incorporate some new details or tell the story in a distinct way. However, if they're lying, then they have just prepared one answer. So they're going to repeat the same content. They'll say similar details or even utilize similar expressions just like the first time. Thus, if you need to catch a liar red-handed, reword a similar question and perceive what different answers they give. Number two, stories in reverse. Genuine explanations are quite often simple to clarify, regardless of whenever you were told to clarify them in reverse. More often than not, when you recount a story in reverse, we reveal new data, and you discover details that you previously missed. Yet, consider the possibility that someone is not coming clean about something. As indicated by the Journal Law on Human Behavior, you can find that someone is lying by requesting that they recount their story in reverse. Now, in contrast to genuine statements, lies are much more complicated in reverse. It's hard enough to envision a detailed lie. However, explaining it in reverse builds your cognitive burden exponentially. Why? Well, on the grounds that you practice telling your story in a specific way, you'll also need to remember things happen in a certain order. And when you reverse it, you'll feel lost and you'll begin talking slower, making more mistakes about the significant details. Regardless of the story, asking liars to flip their story around can assist you to recognize any lie immediately. Number three, the answer delay. Generally, when someone poses a question to you, you take a pause. You take one moment to think of the answer since you weren't expecting to hear that question. It was spontaneous. So you need that slight pause to consider what you're going to reply. But liars generally answer really quickly because they always have something prepared. So if you think that somebody's lying, search for that little pause. If they don't take it and answer immediately, there's a decent possibility that they prepared their answers from the beginning. Number four, hold your evidence. If you're suspecting that someone is lying, direct confrontation is one of the most awkward strategies to discover the truth since it gives away your entire plan. It shows them each one of your cards and they simply could say yes or no. Instead, hold on to your proof as long as you could. As stated in the American Psychological Association, this strategy is utilized by both law enforcement and expert agents since certain criminals are truly expert liars. They don't give the typical indication of bending the truth. They don't appear tense or anxious about it. So how do the experts recognize them? The easy answer is they sit back and pause. They let liars expose themselves. Yet this method only works in the event that you remain quiet about your evidence. Envision someone informing you about how they sprained their wrist. However, you saw them move their wrist just fine and dandy earlier today. How can you catch them red handed? As indicated by the Journal of Instigative Psychology and Offender Profiling, you can begin by posing constant questions regardless of what they state. Simply accept that they're coming clean for now. Inevitably, you can continue asking again and again, they're going to run out of things to say and they're going to begin negating themselves. They might state that they can't get anything with their hands, yet after that, you saw them lifting something. So now the ideal chance to break out your evidence. When you flip the switch, most liars are going to freeze. They'll begin wrecking and they'll get indications of stress and their lie will crumble to pieces. Number five, a partner in crime. In case you're stressed someone is lying to you, get another person involved. Have a go at bringing one additional individual with you since you can learn a lot about someone's integrity by observing how they respond to others. If they're coming clean, one additional individual shouldn't change anything. Suppose your flatmate is cooking in the kitchen while you rotate them to a person. Under typical conditions, that person wouldn't care about your friend. But if somebody is lying, they'll get stressed, feel pressured, and feel like they're being watched by other pairs of eyes. You may see them looking over at your flatmate 
or out of nowhere changing their personality when your flatmate strolls in. If you notice any of these changes, there's a decent possibility you're being lied to. Number 6. Expect the unexpected. At times, the best way to identify a liar is to confuse them. During their storytelling, ask them an unusual question, something they weren't expecting and perceive how they respond. As discovered by a 2011 study in Journal of Applied Cognitive Psychology, starting in questions can make liars lose their game. It drives them to accept their eyes to make up something they haven't organized. And when that preparation fails, you'll notice an ever-increasing number of slip-ups. Number 7. Synchronized Behavior you can tell if someone's lying by observing how they cooperate with their own companions. A recent report published in the Journal of Human Factors and Ergonomic Society found that social practices change when you're lying. An honest individual, for an instance, will in general fall in a state of harmony with the people around them. They're all the more ready to visually connect, to giggle, and to sync with the nonverbal communication of their companions or significant other. But if someone is lying, then they will be way stressed. Regardless of whenever another person is loose, their body movements remain unnatural and rigid. Their hands lay directly before them, their backs remain straight, and they remain a strategic distance from having an eye to eye connection no matter what. If you believe someone's lying, focus on the manner in which they associate with individuals they know. If it appears that they're out of sync, they may be lying. Number 8. Examine the details. Liars tend to avoid explicit details when they are recounting stories. However, Sometimes, they'll let one slide through. Also, when that occurs, there's a simple strategy to know if they're misleading you. Alright, suppose you're meeting someone for lunch, and they tell you about this entire story about their extravagant job. However, you believe they're lying because they continue talking about the same point, and they're providing you with a lot of dubious responses. So, you choose to focus on the details suddenly. You ask them where their place of business is, and they state something general like, It's in Midtown. But when you request explicit details from such specific location, they don't have the foggiest idea what to state. If they were coming clean, this would be a peculiar yet simple question. But because they're lying, they begin flopping for an answer or abruptly changing the topic. This was our video for today. Which type of liars have you met before? Was it easy for you to expose them? Tell us your answers down in the comments below. If you think this video was interesting, feel free to share with others. We have more cool videos on our channel, be sure to subscribe to Greatness in You channel and hit the bell for notifications. Remember to always strive to find the greatness in you.